Good morning. Time to get you a check of the forecast. So we are looking at dangerous heat once again today with a heat advisory in place for Glades, Hendry and Collier County until 6 p.m. The National Weather Service out of Miami extending this heat advisory yesterday to run through this evening. The forecast temperatures today will be above our average of 92. Matter of fact, we're forecasting mid 90s once again, 94 to 95 degrees in the Fort Myers area, even hotter up in Punta Gorda, where yesterday we reached 97 degrees. We're likely to do it again this afternoon. Once you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel like the triple digits up to 109. And that's why this afternoon it is so important to drink plenty of water, find shade and take breaks if you got to be outside. Otherwise, when those little ones get home from school, have them play in the AC here this afternoon until we can get those temperatures to cool down. We're not going to have a lot of rain, not only for the bus stop here this morning as we continue back to school this week, but also later on this afternoon, our rain chance are only around 30%. And this morning, that onshore flow over on the East Coast is providing a few showers, especially down in the Florida Keys, while we are dry. That will help mom and dad get to and from school here this morning. As far as the lunchtime hours, we're still dry and even pick up in the afternoon. We're only looking at some isolated showers. So things should look all right. And then by six o'clock, you see how isolated the wet weather continues to be here in town. Now, yesterday, I know not a lot of us picked up rain, but the little thunderstorms that did develop were rather electric and putting down quite a bit of rainfall in some very small areas. Now, temperatures this morning in the low 80s along the coastline, very, very humid and the wind. Well, it's non existent here early, so very stagnant and still. And as we look ahead towards tomorrow, the rain chances come up. You could look around two, three o'clock, so pick up tomorrow. We could see some wet weather. Those showers and thunderstorms will roll not only through four o'clock, but a few of those lasting there through seven to eight o'clock. And by Friday, we're going to start to see some drier air move in. So the bus stop looks good and the afternoon showers and storms look to be Collier County southbound while the rest of us are pretty dry. Matter of fact, rain chances come up and then they come right back down Friday, the transition day to some very dry weather here over the weekend. And part of that is some dry air that's going to be wrapped around Hurricane Ernesto. Right now it's a tropical storm as it moves north of Puerto Rico and it's almost to hurricane status winds at 70 miles per hour and it is forecast as it moves more northbound here to become a hurricane and continue to strengthen to a category two winds of 115 there matter of fact a category three now forecast here with the five o'clock advisory as it makes its closest approach to Bermuda. Ernesto is not our storm. We can move on to the next one which the next name up on the list is Francine. There's your dry weekend temperatures in the low 90s.